Hey everybody, it's Jake and welcome to day 13 of the Learn GIMP tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over changing the background color. So let's go ahead and open GIMP real quick. And we're going to go new here, file new. You can make this 1280 by 720, landscape mode is fine. And we'll pull it right up. Now this might be uh, white here, so we're actually just going to change this uh, back to white. It really doesn't matter at the moment uh, what this color is. We're going to go to the text tool first and then down here on the left on the bottom if you've set up your user interface you'll have the uh, settings for the tool so let's go ahead and change that to uh, Trajan Pro Bold if you haven't set it already. It saved mine from the from the prior lesson but I'll just go ahead and type it in Trajan Pro Bold should come up. Make the size, let's make the size 200 uh, anti-aliasing, make sure all these settings are the same. This doesn't matter, this can be zero. That's just the line spacing. And then let's go in here and we will stretch this out a little bit so we have room to type. Now the reason we want to set our, our we want to do our settings over here on the left and not up here is that this will just create uh, the new instance. So if we were to do um, like Times New Roman here and then start typing in Times New, Ro Times New Roman. Oh, it's in white right now. Let's change that to blue. So Times New Roman. It's in Times right here. And if we go away from it and we do a separate one and we do Times again, but see it's white, so that's black. You'll see that it is in Trajan Pro. There we go. You'll see it's in Trajan Pro for the font style. And that is because this is the master setting that all of the new text that you create will be. So we need to change that to a different color. Let's change that to any any kind of blue that you want, doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll do blue for now. And let's go ahead and move this down with the move tool. If you wanna click that right there, just go ahead and pull that down a little bit. And then we're gonna click on our text right over here. We're going to go back over here to our layers. You'll see that they created new layers. So we're going to click on this one. And we're actually just going to delete this layer because we're not going to need it. Uh, delete layer. Again, you probably didn't even worry about typing all this. But I'm just going to do that real quick. Get rid of that as well. And then we're just going to pull this over. Oh, If you hold down shift here, I'll be able to grab this text and drag it. Computer's going slow changing the hard drive on my computer right now actually got the new uh, Samsung Samsung Evo and uh, hopefully it'll make things go a lot faster because I've been uh, slowing down recently so let's go to um, now that we just just write down times here oh, let's go over to our text and actually I'm gonna write down color instead in any color you want, just type down color. And then we're going to make the background a different color as well. So let's go down here, right over here, and we're going to dump uh, over here at the bucket. We're going to change this to, um, let's go with red, hit OK, and drop that red in. So now we've got a red background and we've got a blue foreground color. Now what we want to do is we want to drop down our text to the same layer. We're gonna go right down here and hit merge down. And so now these are on the same layer. Now we wanna change this background color here to a different color. Let's say we wanna change it to green. Well, one way of doing that is to use our fuzzy select tool. Hold down shift to pan that. So fuzzy, fuzzy select tool right here, we'll just click here. But if you zoom in, you can see that it's kind of grabbed some of that anti-aliasing going on. So it's grabbed some of this fade into from blue to red. And we don't want that. Now we can adjust the threshold here. If we select right here and we reselect, you see it's grabbing even more of that. We can pull it away and you see it'll grab even less of that. But that's still not as clean uh, that we're it's not as clean as we want it. Plus, if we zoom out here, come on computer, catch up. If we zoom out here, you'll see that the inside of the O and the R's are not selected. So if we were to hold down shift, we could select it, but then that's just taking more time. So if we had a lot of text, 
and we have to be selecting all these insides, plus it's not going to be as good as a transition. So how do we change the background color and make it a good transition? Oh, my computer's just jumping around today. Uh, what do I have open? Just those two things? Okay, we're good. So let's zoom out a little bit. All right. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use color to alpha. So let's go ahead and deselect all by hitting Control Shift A, which is the deselect all uh, uh, shortcut. We're going to go up to colors, and we're going to go to color to alpha. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the color that we want to go to alpha. And the alpha channel is just a clear color uh, channel. So um, this is neither here nor there, but alpha's channels can be saved within an image, which is just uh, basically you can see through the background. And like PNG pictures can be can have an alpha channel. JPEGs can't have an alpha channel, so they'll usually just convert that uh, that clear alpha channel into just a white background. And so, just kind of a note to remember. Again, if you're if you're learning GIMP, and you're also learning graphics design at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from here we want the color, this is choosing what color do we want to send to the alpha channel. And what we're going to do is we're going to select that there. We're going to slide this over a little bit because we want to select our red. Now if you can't see your red, and, and again you're going to be able to see your red on this, but let's say you're working out another image and you're trying to change the background, you can pan around to find exactly where that color is within there. And the reason we're doing it with our preview, the reason we're going to be selecting our color here, and then we're going to be coming over here and hitting preview, is that if I were to select this here currently, and then I were to come over, you'll see that it, that little wand right there, it is going to select this with the fuzzy select tool. So GIMP hasn't quite distinguished that yet in the, in the program, knowing that, hey, we're just trying to select a color right now, but you'll see it jumps over. So that's why if you just pull this pan over, then we can hit this and then we can select the color we want. So if I selected blue, it'll send the blue to the alpha channel here. So let's do that again and we'll select red and that'll be good. And then we hit OK there. And you'll see that it sent everything to the red alpha channel. So now if we zoom in here, whoa, too far you'll see that we still have this this good transition that's fade from darker blue to lighter blue. So now that we're going to add our, I believe we're going to do green, right? So let's go ahead and add our new layer right there. And we can just make this transparency for now, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to go into our new layer right here. We can go to our bucket tool and we can change this color right there. And we can make it green. So we select this green right here and let's adjust this just a little bit to a nicer green. There we go. Hit OK. Now down here with the bucket select tool, you'll see that there's tool options. We can do uh, foreground color fill, background color fill, and pattern fill. But for now, we're just going to do fill similar colors, or we can do, because we're all on the same layer, we can do fill whole selection and we'll be fine. Uh, so we'll just leave it how it is with fill or sorry fill similar colors we'll just drop it because it's all the same I see we oh we covered the blue but it, it's fine because it, the reason that happened is it's but above so we're just going to drop that down right there and you can see that it is now showing so if we zoom in here you're going to see that the transition is perfect you still have that good nice clean crisp lines and if we zoom out you can see that it is just absolutely gorgeous. So this technique works really well when there's just two colors on the image. And we're going to go over how to remove a background, say a more complex background. Let's say you have a picture of you sitting on a bench at the park or something, and we want to remove the park from the background and maybe add an ocean scene. Well, we're going to learn how to do that in an upcoming tutorial. But for now, this is just showing you the color to alpha tool and how to quickly just uh, switch out the colors. If you'll notice on my thumbnail images, the Wild Academy YouTube thumbnail images, you'll notice that there's colored bars on the left hand side and it says Wild Academy. This is what I use to quickly switch that background color because the colors on the left hand side 
indicate what tutorial series that video belongs to. So I use this a lot to quickly do that. And for those types of situations, this is super useful. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Again, my name is Jacob Williams from Wild Academy. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time on the GIMP tutorial day 14. You can actually go ahead and click that annotation if the video is already up to go to the next video. Have a good one.